How y'all doing? Welcome to Nellyville. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Thumbs up, post notification bell. Woo woo. I ain't gonna hold y'all long. I'm not. I'm just gonna have a quick little snack. I got my little ruffles, hashtag not spots, hashtag should be. But I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to come. I just wanted to talk and, and just share my snack with y'all and get a little piece of something off my mind. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? Hope y'all all right. Okay, so what are we doing today? Okay, you read the title, so you already know. Kind of, at least you got the gist. But I, I just, you know... I, <sighs> Excuse me if I'm rambling or if I, you know, I can't get really to the point. It's just... I've had enough. I had enough of the canceling. I've had enough of, of this, the... Look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. And the digging up dirt from 10, 20 years ago. I mean, some of y'all just need to sit there and eat your damn food. Okay? Another YouTuber canceled. Okay. Every day, somebody canceled. <clears throat> and you can't cancel people, you can cancel actions, but when are y'all gonna stop? Eventually, you're gonna cancel everybody. Everyone's going to be canceled, and then what? But specifically, I wanna speak to the canceling of comedians and jokes and comedy okay people there is a very fine line of what is offensive and what is just good comedy okay. not everyone has the same taste in comedy i for one have a very dark sense of humor okay but i can also laugh at really silly things i have a very broad span of comedy but i enjoy a dark comedy and i'm just i'm bringing that up because it's like you can't laugh or joke about anything anymore and people are so quick to say, Joking about that is never funny. This isn't funny. And I don't want to say any specific thing because I don't want to single anything out. But there's a, there, there's a lot. There's a lot. And y'all know exactly what I'm talking about because we good Judies. Okay? So when I say y'all pissing me off, I'm not talking about us. I'm talking, you know, we Judies. I'm talking about the non Judies who just want to be bitter about everything and I, I'm tired of it. I'm going to laugh at the dark jokes, okay? One of my favorite comedians is Tosh.0. Oh. If you're not familiar with Tosh, Daniel Tosh, okay? And he had, his show is called Tosh.0. Oh. He's done some stand-up, he has a great show at Comedy Central on for years, right? So I, I just, I, I pick him out because that's kind of one of the first comedians that comes to mind that I mean, when you say crude, dark humor, I mean, that that's pretty much the epitome of, like, his whole thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. But that's an obvious comedian that's dark and crude. The way that things are going, the way you can't talk about anything or have an opinion about anything or joke about anything, comedy is going to die. Because because the non judies don't know how to take a joke. It's depressing. It's depressing. You have to laugh at your pain. If you don't know how to laugh at your pain, you're not going to survive. I'm so good. All of your favorite comedians have joked about things that in, in real life would not be funny. All of them. Cat Williams. Bernie Mac, Richard Pryor, all of them, black, white, woman, female, Amy Schumer, they all joke about things that are 
that are beyond cheeky. But it, it didn't just start with my generation. It didn't just start today. All the way back to the beginning of time with, with comedy. That's why it's called comedy. You have to be able to separate the two here. Comedy, mm, excuse me, comedy is one of, to me, it's the hardest form of entertainment. But I would say one of the hardest because it depends on who you ask. For me, I think that comedy is the hardest form of entertainment here. Let me tell you why. It is the only form of entertainment where it is just you. There are no instruments. There is no music. There is no extra fluff of production for you to entertain a crowd. Either you're funny or you're not. You're not. When you're a singer, you have things to back you up. That if you can't sing, you know, you can lip sync or you can, you know, you have backup singers. Maybe you dance really good. If you're a dancer, you, the music is always the music is the energy is, has to be there before a comedian. I mean, it's really one of those from the beginning of the show to the end of the show. It's all eyes on you. It's all the y'all get what I'm saying. I don't y'all watch TV. You don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. OK, but the point is. Let's not make it harder on the comedians than it needs to be. Okay. Now I know in the beginning I mentioned another YouTuber they're trying to cancel. Joey Graceffa. If we're canceling Joey Graceffa, cancel me now. Okay? This is, I mean, y'all got not hands. Now some of these other YouTubers or whatever that you cancel, comedians that you try to cancel, most of it I don't agree with. But, you know, I could kind of see the argument for the other side. But now, y'all just, Joey, if you're not familiar, go check out his work. YouTuber's been, been doing it, been in the game for a very, very long time. One of the most unproblematic people in the whole industry. I, and, I, oh, gosh, you people are killing me with this boss. What is the reason? Sometimes things are just funny. It's just that. It's a joke. That's why the reason why half of comedy is comedy because you, 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 comedians joke and talk about stuff that in real life it would be very serious. Maybe something's wrong with me. Tell me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment. Tell me if I'm wrong. What you're not gonna do is run comedy for me. I'm sorry. If something's funny, I'm gonna laugh. And yes, we are desensitized. I just know when I was coming up, nothing was off limits. By the time I was a teenager or a preteen, nothing was off limits. And now we're going back to where to and we're, and we're almost gone. We're just completely erasing the meaning of comedy completely where you can say whatever you want that people understand that it's just a joke it may or may not be how that person actually feels in real life it's just shock value and there's nothing wrong with that to me there's nothing wrong with that and furthermore you're not gonna sit up here and tell me for my for my older viewers you're not gonna sit up here and tell me when you were younger you didn't do and say some stuff that you look back now like damn that was kind of probably shouldn't have said that probably shouldn't have thought that probably shouldn't have did that but you're young and i just why that's why i don't understand why are we digging up stuff that people did three years ago 10 20. you're not the same person we can acknowledge it we can have a discussion But we don't need to be taking away people's careers off of stuff they did and set up a whole other lifetime ago. Especially when it wasn't even that deep. Look, I can go on and on. All I'm saying is, look. A joke is a joke. So everybody will laugh. Laugh, take a load off. If you don't like that comedian, don't engage. Dark comedy is not for everyone. Comedy in general is not for everyone. Okay? But jokes are jokes. Lighten up, people.
2020. Uh, it's a lot going on. Just laugh. It's oh, it's okay. You know. If you hurt somebody's feelings, say sorry, and, and you know, and move on. It's not even really so much about thick, having thick skin, but you know, look. Just don't ruin comedy for me, okay? It's just, it's. Damn, damn, I can't have. Them. Anyway, I just wanted to have a little snack with y'all. Get that off my chest. Subscribe. Go ahead and click the thumbs up because I know you loved it. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new rant video. Oh, and also leave Joey Grissom alone. Leave that baby alone. He ain't do nothing. <laughs> it ain't that deep. Okay. Love you. Bye.